What is up ninjas? My name is Semrold and today we're going to the ninth level of hell. Today we're gonna be tackling how to make drops like Res 1788 and all the other artists that fall in that category. Now I don't know what the genre is called guys. Now all I know about this genre guys is that it's no purebred genre. It's a mutt genre. What that means is that we have genres from all like you know spectrums of dance music and it comes together here and it's just mixed and mashed like crazy. It's a little bit like MMA where you have different fighting styles and then you watch it on your TV and each person has a distinct quality to them like Rez has a lot of dubstep bass lines while 1788 has a lot of that electro house aggressive G house kind of vibe to it so this genre is very hard to pinpoint it but the fun stuff is that we can talk about it and try and make similar stuff to it now guys I'll be the first to admit that when it comes to this genre of music I am no expert but I do feel like I can help people transition that want to make this genre or are trying to make it transition a little bit easier so that it's more fun for them to make it so it's so, it's so fun for them to go in and kill it with a bang now this genre will definitely be a lot easier for those of you guys that have a lot of presets in different styles like dubstep, rhythm, future bass, electro house, G house and whatnot. because then from there you can find the sounds you want, make a drop really fast with it and then change the preset up so that it doesn't sound like the preset itself. But the reason it's easy guys is because this genre, especially the rest style drops, is more like a puzzle. That's the way I see it. It's more of a puzzle where you have these sounds and how do you arrange these sounds or how do you put them in this song on the drop to make it sound musically, rhythmically interesting enough to be a song and that's what we're gonna be doing today with a couple of sounds I have loaded up in serum from a new sound bank I'm releasing this Friday now if you guys are in the market for these sounds and you want to support the channel and you want to support me guys you guys can check them out they're gonna be coming out this Friday and if you like what you hear wait for that day guys but this sound is gonna be all in this style of music and it's gonna be super fun to use if you're trying to get into it but again it's not necessary to support the pack if you already have a lot of sounds that you can utilize to create this this is just gonna be for people that want to get into it and they want to follow along with the tutorial. Other than that, let's get started with this tutorial. All right, guys, and welcome inside of Ableton. Now, all the sounds in this tutorial that we're gonna use do come from the pack, except for the kick and the vocal. But I've chosen the sounds pre-hand already so that, again, you know, we can work a little bit faster. So the sounds we're gonna have for this drop are gonna be FX the Dentist, which is gonna be a sound that has white noise being routed through a bandpass down sample. And then the saw is going to add a bit of tonality to it because usually white noise doesn't have tonality. It's a tono. That's what that means, that it doesn't have a tone to it. Um, so with a bit of processing, that's what you get. Sample and hold also another form of down sample that deteriorates the sample rate or deteriorates the quality. It's another way we can say it. Think of it as going from a PS4 audio quality to Super Nintendo or Atari um, at, extreme, uh, at extreme values there. Next sound we have is two saws, one sync. <laughs> so that... It's just going to be sort of like a wub that we can use for the track. We can control the wub with the attack to do cool stuff like that. Or we can use it as or as a so we're going to be using this one for that. It's just going to be, as you can see, two saws being run through a filter that's going to open up. And then we have a bit of processing there to go with it. Pretty simple sound. Next one we have, I believe it's the danger. So which is going to be like a 1788 Electro House, very dirty bass line that we're going to utilize. Next one after that is we have this lead called Knife, which is going to be more for like ambience kind of stuff, melodic kind of stuff. We move along. We're going to have this one just in case we need it for, for the track. Maybe we can do something cool with it. And then as we move along, BA Monkeys, sort of like a rest style kind of... Um, change to it as you can see so that's going to help there and then we have a BA radiation so this is going to be sort of like a blunt whop this is made possible by using an LFO tool to shape the sound by the way guys that will hit go down and then come back up in a wub form and that's how we get that vibe there on the sound okay so we're, those are going to be all the sounds we're going to use and then we have this neat little vocal Dark places. Now, the BPM of this stuff is usually between 90 to 110 BPM. It doesn't matter. As long as you make it dark, I guess that's all that should matter. Um, it's called electronic mid tempo or something like that. And uh, with the kick and snare here, I opted to use kind of like the, you know, like dubstep kind of stuff. And a so very heavy kick. And that's all we, we're going to need. Now, let's get started with this drop. So right off the get-go, I really like the dentist sound, which was this. 
So we're going to use that for the initial part of our drop. And so, sorry if I'm blowing eardrums, guys. This genre is very high frequency dependent. So it makes for, for sure, a little bit of tinnitus triggering there. So let's see. We're gonna so I think there's going to be good for dark places. And boom, dun, dun, something like that would be dope. So here, this sound I think is actually going to work pretty cool. So we're going to use that to kind of transition from this, dun, wah, boom, and then we're going to hit it with some hard bass. So this one, there we go. And now the next, okay, cool. So again, like you guys, I think you guys can kind of understand why it's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. And that's the way I was explaining this genre is because once you have the sounds, it does make it a lot easier. As you guys can see, it doesn't mean you're going to be making bangers after bangers because there's a lot more to the genre, of course. But when it comes to making the drop, a lot of times, once you have the sounds, it makes it really easy because all you have to do now is just worry about that. Now, one thing I will say, guys, is if you're the type of guy that has that you guys want to make all your sounds all your presets it's just something about you that just wants to do it what i suggest you do is that you take time for a certain time of the day or a certain place you know like it might be saturdays so you do like two hour three hour sound design sessions where you make as many sounds as you can that are good that you think are good and then when you start making music you can not worry about sound design and then just focus on getting those sounds into a track I think that's like the biggest tip, separating sound design and music making, because when you're in like making music making mode, a lot of times having to deal with sound design and like just messing with it, it can kind of ruin the mojo or your idea and you might lose it. So that's why it's very important to have these sounds ready to go right out of the get go. That's my biggest tip. Again, I don't know how Rez or 1788 are, are doing it 1788, but but I feel like this is a lot easier if you had make the sounds first and then worry about making music. I think that's the best way to go in this genre but let's keep going here we're gonna have that electric bass coming down Dark places. and then here boom, boom, and then here i can have any of these bass lines do a response to that nasty one and i think i'm gonna go with the res the res wobble as i like to call it i don't know that someone's inspired by her that's that one works too Dark places. And then here, I'm going to have it hit a Places. Maybe I, I'll have this one do like some dun dun. Like something like that would be dope. Dark places. Dun 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 dun. Whoop. Maybe this one can hit again. Uh, here, maybe. That sounds like it's in a different key, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, we'll just bring that back in. Dun. And then here we can maybe bring in the radiator. It's an octave. Let's see. If we and let's see if we can bring this bad boy in here. Let's see more here. Sounds pretty cool. Maybe we can. We just got to get rid of the lows on it for sure, because the lows are really going to mess up the mix eventually. Now, guys, this stuff isn't mixed. All it has is OTT and a little bit of sidechain from LFO to. Dark places. All right, and then here maybe we can have this guy hit again. Dark places. That flip, maybe one. Here, I feel like it needs to be something else, not. Th 
Maybe we can try something else. Dark places. Maybe the one we had before without without that modulation could work. It's just that it sounds a little bit off key for some reason. So let's see if we could like bring this hold my drink back in. Um, <clears throat> boss to the metal. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, this hold my drink. H H hold my drink. Is it? Is there another hold my drink? I think I just messed that up for us there. Talk good. To, oh, it's probably sequence hold my drink or foreman or something like that. Sounds well, pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that sub. I ask. And maybe a, a G here. I'm going to G sharp because it's off key, but I know it works because it's be behind the A. And then from there, maybe we can copy this into the knife. There we go. Do, do, do. Something dark there should work. And it just helps us set up for that loop. Dark places. There we go. Where the hell is that? I just heard like some white noise or some shit. Ah, oh, there is the cashmere sweep, dude. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's all about that, you know, just bringing everything together and, and having all the sounds. And like I said, guys, it's a lot easier for sure making these style of drops when you have sounds that you can use straight out of the get-go. Like, you might make something different than I did with these select sounds. You know, in fact, I don't really like what I made. It's kind of eh, especially this part here with this. But let's get into other stuff now. Let's say that we want to do crazy things with this drop. Like, let's say maybe instead of having this hit here, we want to have some cool glitches and stuff like that. How do we approach that? Well, that's when it, this genre starts to become a little bit more experimental where you need to find like Foley shots here and there to get it to sound a certain way. So the good thing is, is that there's a lot of packs out there that have Foley, especially if you have any of the Cymatics ones. Cymatics definitely has a lot of Foley packs that we can utilize and the key thing about this is that you want to manipulate the audio in certain ways to get it to sound that way so what we can do is maybe look at a metal, metal bucket shake you know just find like find something like metal moving sounds pretty cool we can kind of use that maybe and then we're going to drop that maybe here and let's just make a new track for that and we could use that here instead in this little part of the Let's just do that here. We'll do now let's focus more on the sound itself. When manipulating audio, this is another thing that this genre is super, again, super useful to know this for this genre. Like you can down, when you have the warp on in Ableton, you can down transpose. So you can get really unique stuff like Okay, let's say you don't want to do that, but for some reason you want to make this longer, like you want to make it last longer. What you can do is hold shift and pull. That way you can do something like this where it's more of a, of a couple of hits rather than a lot. And then let's say you don't like all that kind of sound in it. You can lower the, tra uh, the transient. That. All right, so there you can see that. Once you like the way it sounds, 
consolidate it. Don't be scared of it. And then from there, you can warp it. So from here, let's just warp this here. Like, let's try and get this uh, warped. Can we... I want to kind of get it in the value of one there. But if we can, it's all good. And then we can kind of have... And then this one can come in here. Maybe a little... Okay, let's put like a bit of OTT on it. And, and again, you know, this is all just audio manipulation to get something that you want. And there's various ways that you can go about it. <clears throat> From here, we can apply like Trash 2 on it. So Trash 2 is a, like a distortion unit. But what I really like about Trash 2 is that it has this convolution uh, section that you can use to its utmost potential. So for instance, we're going to lower this. <laughs> we have those there. Let's see what I like. Now this convolution section is gold mine in my opinion because you can do. A <clears throat> so what convolution does is people record like atmospheres or sounds, like the reverb of sounds. So for instance, let's say I'm talking in a room and someone records the reverb, then they can say Semrold Convolution <laughs> Reverb. So that's the idea. We have a sample of a reverb that is inserted into the plugin, and then we get that vibe on the sound. But other than that, it just gives a nice vibe. And you can just get really crazy with it. You can make a... Separate the left and the right. Okay, and it's just about having fun. You can definitely make the, use that for like atmosphere. But we're losing again the transient there, so we're not going to... I like this. I like that. So then from here, let's say I like that. I'm going to freeze this. That way I have it like that. And then I'm going to flatten it. So now when I flatten it, I have that. And then I want this to be more of a wub. So I don't want it to be kind of like... So I want this more to be like kind of like that. So now I can use a fade on it. Maybe a little bit more like so. Let's see if we can manipulate this a lot better so we can get that. And then just get it again and see. And just put and maybe down pose a bit. There we go. That sounds pretty cool. Negative 24. Maybe. Dark places. So, da -da -da. maybe we can do a little. I think the sweet spot was negative 12 for sure. And then maybe... So then you can start adding more, like drums here and there. But hopefully, you know, that makes sense for you guys. The audio manipulation is a, it's a no whole other world, guys. And honestly... If you want to do it, all power to you. Honestly, it's a lot of fun, though, at times. If you just go in saying, oh, I'm going to manipulate audio and have fun with it, it, it's a lot of fun to manipulate audio. But if you're going to be making a song and then you have this audio and you're just, like, struggling to get it to a way you sound or something cool, then it can kind of kill the musical environment. So that's a lot of times I say do all this stuff, like the sound design, separate from the, music, the musical session, I guess, when you're going to make a track. Because then... You know, we can make cool stuff like that, save it, and then use it in the future. But another thing you can also do is, let's say you're in a mood and you, you really need a type of sound, a lot of things you can do as well. And yeah, I was watching the JS Core Masterclass. But you can go in on Splice and just find a lot of, like, nice stuff to use. And, and don't let genre-based uh, sample packs ruin it. Just go into any sample pack and try and find sounds that you think sound kind of cool to use in your track. Um, hopefully, they're ready to go. Like, you like the way it sounds, so you can use it in a song. That way, you don't need to worry much about, again, the sound design of it. But, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say, guys. But, again, biggest tip I can give you guys is, is again, you know, have the sounds that you need. Then we'll go, come into it and play puzzle. Treat it as a puzzle. 
to make something that sounds musical. But other than that, guys, we made this here in 20 minutes, 10 minutes. I did the sound design already for you guys on live stream, so I'm just using the sounds we made, and it's starting pretty good. Um, as you guys can see from there, you fine tune and you just make your dark tempo 1788 rest out drop, and that's about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this style of music, guys, and I hope that you guys enjoy making it. Hopefully, you get into it, and I'll see you guys next time for another video, guys. You guys take care. Peace out. The dark places.